Hey everyone, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. If you're a first time viewer of this channel, I go to garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, uh, retail stores, just about anywhere I can find items flipped for profit. I do pretty good. I'm full time, so that means I support myself and I support my wife. Uh, I've got a little 14 by 14 garage or shed, and then outside I got a couple more little shelves out in a regular garage. This is just sectioned off, so I do a regular. But I picked up items from walmart and we're going to go talk about those items here in a little bit but uh, as you can see i've uh, got a crowded little area and i do a lot of work in this little area sorry about the light um, but i got quite a bit if you're thinking about going full time and you think hey, can i do it yes you can because i can and like i said i got a bunch of stuff over here we're going to talk about it here in a minute this is i got from walmart i got from one walmart store but if i was to go to several walmarts throughout today and go to all their clearance sections i'd probably be able to find enough stuff to be able to resell and make at least a hundred dollars a day just on the stuff that i can find over at walmart and there's plenty of other places to go to also <music> Now let's get into the reason why I started this video and that is I went to Walmart today and I did some retail arbitrage and I found a whole bunch of little toys or nothing exciting but these are priced at different prices um, these are all kind of these are all pretty much the same kind of a toy just different characters uh, this is rainbow unicorn no rainbow butterfly unicorn kitty power tail felicity and she was a dollar and this one here is same thing and this is rock and roll miguel and each one of them there's four just four different ones and each one of them have a different action i guess like this one you push down on his hat and he strums his guitar um felicity you push down and her her head moves and her tail moves that's all nothing exciting about those i guess i mean maybe for a kid or, or a little youngster that would be exciting but what was exciting for me is the prices because like i'll show you here they've been marked down they're like an original cost and they got marked down to 477 marked down to 250 marked down to i can't see and maybe you can't see it because my finger might be in a way well that says a dollar and this one says 75 cents this one's still at a dollar i'm not sure why they didn't mark down maybe because of the characters but i would have thought they'll all have been 75 cents but they weren't some were 75 cents some were a dollar maybe it was just who priced them too i don't know but i thought you know hey these are pretty good price is pretty good marked down from an original price of like uh i thought i don't remember seven to eight dollars all the way down to 25 cents in the dollar let's go ahead and look it up so it's got a barcode so i got my phone and i'll show you on my phone let me get let me get my phone up and i'll show you real quick okay you go to the ebay app I'm going to go up here, up here at the top right, there's a little camera. I'm going to come down here to hit scan barcode. Scan the barcode. It scans it real quick. Okay, these are asking prices, so I'm going to go to filter. Then I'm going to go to sold. This is what I want to know what I can possibly sell it for. And hit done. So these are trending, let's see, $7.49 trending at $8.98. This sold for $10.99. This was an open one for $3.99 plus $4.05 shipping, $10.95, $8.99. All these are free shipping except for that one that's pre-owned. It was open. So you get the idea of these that I paid $0.75 cents to a dollar on these. Uh, and I'm going to make my money. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell some of these individually if I can't lot them together. Or I'm going to put two of these together and sell them and make a lot. Um, individually, I can... Yeah, I could sell it. Well, let's see. I got my scale out, so let's see what the weight is. Okay, get the scale set up. So let's put some weight on there. One point nine ounces. So two of these, a little what, four, almost four ounces. So one of these is going to go out for anywhere from two seventy-seven to about three forty-nine, three fifty. Two of these together will go out for for about three dollars and sixty cents to, let's say four dollars and about four dollars so anywhere in there so i can go ahead and take these and, and sell them as individuals lot them up and i'm definitely going to make my money back on them the other thing i picked up and it's back in this other bag were these 
And again, these are items I have no ideas about. This is called Royal Trends. And again, you can see the price has been marked down, and they were marked down from original price to $48 to $3, down to a dollar. Let's see what they weigh. These things weigh at three ounces, so we can, we can probably say uh, $277 to $3.50 to mail out, depending on which zone I'm going to send it to in the United States, if it's going to go in the United States. Um, I got a couple different kinds. See this one here, like a little girl, and I don't know what that is. This one's like a little prince or something, I guess. Anyway, they're all marked down to a dollar. But we'll do the same thing. We'll take the scan code. It's right here. You can see right there. And let's go ahead and get our phone out. Turn that off. Go to scan barcode. So we're going to scan the barcode. Scanned it. All right, there's our asking price. So we're going to filter. Sold. Done and there's the prices let's see i don't know how well you're going to see it but 9.99 10.99 10.49 8.95 12.99 8 12.99 12 anyway you get the idea this is all again free shipping so again i can sell these for looks like a good 9.99 free shipping or if like here i got two separate ones i can go ahead and take two of them and lot them together and maybe ask 16.99 14.99 15.99 free shipping whatever i want because I'm going to make my money back on these. I bought four bags of all this stuff. Uh, a total, including tax, was $34 and a couple, couple cents. I can't remember, but it was $34. So I can sell, shoot, I'll sell four or five of these and make my money back. And the rest is all going to be profit. So sometimes retail arbitrage over at Walmart is a good thing. This is going to make my money back on this toys. So I hope this little video helps. I hope the idea of retail arbitrage is something that you can do. You can use your phone, your eBay app, and look it up. If you don't have an eBay app, just pull up and e put an eBay app on your phone, scan that item, and you can get an idea. Just remember, go to the comps, go to the filter part of sold. You want to know not what they're asking, but what the sold price is or what you can make. Anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. So to all the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. Everyone else, take care, be safe, and look out for one another. Bye-bye. Thank you.